Welcome, Fuji. Now it's a pleasure to have you here at the inaugural event of Kentucky Kingdom the Keys to the Kingdom. And we intend to make this event bigger and bigger every single year. Much like we built a small 10 acre park, which is the 63 acre park it is today. Theme park. Kentucky Kingdom Christ and Natural Springs. I've had the pleasure of selecting, paying for, installing 16 roller coasters. The great irony, of course, is that I do not ride coasters because I have motion sickness. But that doesn't stop me from being enthusiastic about coasters. I bet a number of you in this audience would like my job. Not because you want to operate a theme park, it's because you want to select the rides that are great for Fuzies. Of course, I have to worry about GP, I have to worry about Fuzies, and I don't know that, where that would take us, but we have a lot of fun. Can anybody guess what my favorite coaster was? Or is? Yeah. Not the thing. People was? No. 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 Who said Chang? Chang is and always will be my favorite. And can I share with you the backstory on Chang? So it's 1995, as you know, Chang went in in 1997. It's 1995. We just brought in our suspended looping coaster, T2. Hey, by the way, on that subject, you're still on? On that subject, you know one of our mischievous folks is Jefferson, who runs our social media page. <laughs> And I do believe, I do believe before the day is out, he might just take you to Area 51 where he hides T4. <laughs> I can't guarantee that, but. And also, let's thank uh, Carly, Jefferson, and Jesse for putting this event together. The chain. So it's 1995, we just put in our first suspended looking coaster, T2 at that time. Is this working? Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay. And I really wanted something to be a signature to our new brand, which was Kentucky, the Throw Bar. So I wanted something really big. So I went over to Switzerland to meet with Walter Bollinger of b &M. And while we're sitting by Lake Geneva, I had to convince Walter to sell me the stand-up b and roller coaster. $15 million that I had to convince him, because at that time, and I think frankly today is still true, b and only makes about four coasters a year. And he wasn't sure if he wanted to take a risk on a really small part compared to all the big parts he was supplying, because like any manufacturer, he wanted the word to go out about his coaches. But he took a chance on us, and it worked. As part of my due diligence, I called Dick Kinzo at Cedar Point, that time known as the coastal capital of the world. And I said, Dick, tell me about stand-up roller coasters. You have to put this one in the world is the good ride any issue blah 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 and Dick said Ed listen your post is going to be small than ours so you don't have to worry about this this and this and I said Dick it's actually going to be bigger the first time has ever been featured the story continued what do you call this new stand up roller coaster it'll be 
that we represent Kentucky Kingdom. So we need a really good name. Now at that time, you didn't have all the graphic capabilities you have today to do animation and all that, so you could sort of recreate your life for purposes of a marketing campaign. And I'm a movie buff, and my partner and I, in fact, have made 12 feature films. We were fortunate enough just too many years ago to win the Sundance Audience Award. But I'm a movie buff, and one of my favorite movies of all time was the original King Tom. I don't know if you've seen that in black and white. There's this wonderful scene where the trees start to shake. Nobody sees the giant beast yet. All you see is shaking tree, and the natives are chanting, Tom. Calm, calm. And I said, man, that's the sort of energy we need for our lives. And that's where Channing, Channing, Channing came from. And our air simply had a giant sumo wrestler walking ominously towards the screen with the words, Channing, 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 you're never too big to be afraid. That commercial derived and in our initiative to be the biggest, to support the notion of Kentucky King and the Thrill Park, I think we had the biggest increase in the history of theme parks. That year we increased our attendance 400,000, which even for giant parks is quite extraordinary. It all came together, and for that reason, Chan has always been my favorite coach. It's just a shame it's, it's, it's still not here. I know you're anxious, I hope you don't have any voice headaches out there, but I know you're anxious to, to get to the YouTubers, and we're really happy to have such a distinguished panel here. So for those who might have a headache, and you want the program to continue, I'm going to surrender the stage to the YouTubers, and from the bottom of my heart, it's just such a pleasure to welcome you on your inaugural, and thank you for all your support for Kentucky Changing. We love you all. Thank you.